great movie. They call me Trinity. Look that up. Terrence Hill? That's what it is. Terrence Hill. All right, check it out. Game week here in the SEC. And for Mississippi State, we go to Baton Rouge this weekend. Big storyline. New quarterback, right? Miles Brennan. Like he's new to all of us, but he's not really new to them because he's been around. He's uh, into his fourth year on campus at LSU. So what I thought I'd do is, uh, with you here, maybe short film study, let's jump back into just what film we do have of Miles Brennan last year. No point in going back two, three years ago. When he got snaps last year, how did he look? All right, here's a play. We're going to watch his footwork. I'll show you the play first. They go bunch to one side, clear it out, and then kind of drag or drag across the field. And he uh, gets a guy open, but extends the, doesn't really extend the play. kind of buys sometimes. So watch the play first. Step up, keep your shoulders square, and then deliver on that crosser for a, a big play. And so here's what I wanted to look at. Now, the play, not necessarily what I'm watching here. I'm just watching his feet. Again, this is last year's third year in college, second year of eligibility. So watch. They gave him a three-man front, all three coming, and you get a fourth off the edge. It's a four-man rush, but he's getting five-man protection, possibly sixth because the jack, uh, the back is checking. Excuse me. So he knows he's protected. So his eyes are downfield. He's got verticals here to the play side, crosser coming across late. You know, this is nice. It's obviously a good pocket, but watch him step up. He's not going to hang back there. He's going to step up, give himself a throwing lane. And then right here, this is good. Okay, so he's going to run to space. He's going to slide to space. But right there, you see that hitch? See him hitch those feet back up, get them square again. A lot of guys, especially young guys, as they start to escape, you're actually going to throw off the run where you're kind of up on one leg and throwing off that hip. But this is mature, squaring those shoulders, get those feet back set after moving in the pocket. So it shows athleticism, but it also shows, you know, the right mentality right here. If he's thinking throw, he's not thinking run. He's going to make a big play with his arm. So it's a good thing. Hitch, hitch, get it out of there. Good footwork. Honestly, okay, so he's playing when they're up 50 to whatever in most of these games. I thought the snaps he took, he, he looked really capable. He looked like the backup ready to play, third year backup ready to play last year, if something were to happen, to go in and run their offense. Uh, and here's just a few examples of plays I found that showed he's well coached, he's got really good footwork, he can throw the ball well. And then it's just, and I think the ability is there, it's just a matter of running the offense. Now what about when everything goes right, it's blocked right, do you step in there and make the play? Here they are, three by one, three receivers to his right. They're going to clear out on the outside, and it's kind of, you know, the old dig with uh, different depths. I didn't draw it up too smoothly, but you're going to have one deeper, and uh, third man is going to come across there at five shallower. And then you get that dig. The reason I said it works well, they give them a, Three, four, kind of classic look, seven there. And he knows he's got five and six-man protection. So he's got to know where they're coming from if they come. On the snap right away, you see his eyes in the middle. He sees two drop. He knows he's protected. You've got to trust that protection. They're actually coming across the face and bringing one all the way around to try to get him free because you're coming off this edge. That's the fifth rusher. So plenty of protection. He knows he's going to now stand in the pocket calmly. So they call climb that pocket, get to your drop, and then climb back up there in that space where they're going to set this thing around you. You can step into the throw. You can see one dig is off the screen, and he's looked to the next one because he's watching linebackers run out of the middle of the field, step into it. it Ball's delivered on time in a clean pocket. Where nothing could go and a nice completion. But something did. Turns into a big play because of a missed tackle. To. Let's see what kind of athlete he is here. If you have to escape and scramble, you give him a little bit of a pressure look in this game, although he's got plenty of protection. Three man front defense, so they're bringing one, two, and three. The fourth is a linebacker, the fifth is a linebacker. 
uh, as well. And with five linemen and a running back checking, it's six-man protection. So it's a five-man rush versus six-man protect. He knows this should be blocked up, right? If those two are the only two linebackers that come, we should have enough. But you get a bust in the middle. Right there, 71 left guard on that side picks up the linebacker. Nice job. But when he senses he's coming from behind, he and the back get crossed up. Back steps up and takes the next backer, and the 71 is going to turn him loose and turn out and look. So you turn the rusher loose in the face of the quarterback here. So, again, this is good. This is a guy who he's in the pocket until there's a bust. It's not his fault. He knows I got six on five protection. This ought to be picked up, but it's not. Now what's he going to do? He's able to escape, avoid the tackle, and uh, make yards. Here's a play I wanted to look at because he does the uh, reverse out of there to avoid the rush thing. Watch the play first. Off the edge, not blocked. Tries to get out of there and then just gets rid of it. You know, and again, you're talking about trying to project a guy who hasn't been a starter into what you may see when he is a starter. You're going to see all kinds of stuff. And this is one where they twist across his face, try to get one off the edge. But the other thing that's going on in this three-man front, they're in bunch, three to the field side. They give him a man-to-man look with three over three. But you notice when the back starts to motion out of here, one is going with the back. So it's really going to change to two over three, and they're bringing this guy off the edge. And you'd love to throw two against three, but you can't because you don't have time. So he's got to get out of there, right? So again, third-year player, second year of eligibility last year. He senses it off the edge. A lot of freshmen right here, what do they do? You're going to run, try to get back to the line of scrimmage, try to run out the other way, or take that sack. In this case, it's a move that you know, you're all taught, that you got one coming here, you're going to reverse that thing out of there, flip, and it's harder for them to get to you. So he tries it. He's coached well. He's playing the way he's coached. And then I thought this was good. Again, not taking the sack, not throwing it out here to a guy who's going to get blown up potentially behind the line of scrimmage. Just get rid of it, throw it out of you know, reach, and uh, get back to the line of scrimmage and punt it where it was. Don't take the loss of yardage. Not a bad play, actually. Some examples of knowing when the play is dead, don't turn a bad play into a worse play. He didn't do any of that kind of stuff up big. He got in some good reps. Now, I mentioned his footwork a couple times. He did show just not, not just adequate, but really good footwork, the way you coach it for quarterbacks. Moving in the pocket, subtle movements in the pocket. When you escape, are you, th- are you running or throwing? Once you decide you're going to run, take off. If you're going to throw, square those shoulders and keep those feet, you know, shoulder width, keep your posture so that you can be accurate with the football. I thought I'd look at this one in the Vandy game. He's got three receivers lined up. Now, he does have a tight end on the edge there of the formation back in the backfield, but they're staying in, right? So what Vandy gave him on this particular play was man-to-man on three receivers and nobody else in coverage. So pre-snap, he's getting a man-to-man blitz look. He knows I've got five linemen, a tight end, and a back. That's seven in protection. But you look at the formation they're giving him, the 3-4, three three-down linemen, four linebackers, that's seven, and an eighth defender, that safety walk up in there. So he's done. A, he's identified this pre-snap. They have more in the box than we can block if they all come. On the snap, they all come. It's eight versus seven. So right away, he's already decided, I want to get rid of this to a man-to-man route on the outside. I don't want to take this sack. But he got hurried. Okay, so the negative is he gets hurried here, throws off his back foot when he really doesn't have to because a couple of those guys who came hung up. They didn't really come with urgency. So he, he's rushing because he's counted pre-snap, but he can step in here and make this play. So that's the negative is he lets the pre-snap kind of affect what happens after the snap a little too much. The positive, though, is that he is seeing what's happening at the line of scrimmage and not trying to take a sack and getting it out of there. So... Some of that, again, just comes with experience. Here he is, mop-up duty in the college football playoff. I think this is RPO. That's what it looks like to me, reading that uh, play side, outside defender. Here's what I mean. Pre-snap, four down linemen, three defenders, 
either two linebackers and a safety, regardless, at seven. And he is the seventh play side outside. And, you know, if he sees him bail on the snap on this fake or hang there, not bail, but even hang there, we're going to give the ball. But you see seven defenders step down inside. He's going to pull it and now throw the out route based on that defense. I think that's what the read is. And he executes it pretty well. And here he is. This was a classic kind of bread and butter for Joe Burrow. And Miles Brennan goes in there and executes it in this game. Slants and outs. Chooses the slant to the left, one-on-one, and connects. When I go back and look at this, you know, he lines up in empty. And three receivers to his right to the wide side of the field. I say wide side, ball's basically in the middle. And then two left, so two by three. Empty. Go four down, and there's really nobody else in the box. You might classify him as a box defender, but they gave him, you know, basically what is a man look everywhere except here. So he's just those two defenders. You got to kind of figure out what they're doing. Let's see where his eyes were on the snap. I think immediately his eyes are right here and he sees it it's man free that safety running back to the middle of the field as soon as he sees him bail his eyes are right there i think he's just right there locked in on that slant the whole time and it could be a matchup thing as well so look obviously you don't have a ton of film on miles brennan but what you do know is he's been there three years he's waited his term uh reports are good in terms of his accuracy and fall camp and that kind of thing six four plenty of arm strength. It's really just going to be a matter of logging all of that experience. Things will definitely change on you when you go from being a backup to now you're the starter and it's all on your shoulders. And it's just a matter of handling that, relying on the people around you. And so we'll see how he does. First time out of the gates this weekend against a very inexperienced Mississippi State secondary, but a defense as a whole for State that has a lot of experience in its front six, front seven. So be interested to see how all that works out. Good content. Good content. See you on the next one. See you.